Now I'm just going to mix the darkness of the windows behind the chicken, some of the cockerel, and some of the leaves. So that shape tucks in behind, and this is burnt sienna and a dark blue, say Windsor blue, makes a fantastic dark. There we are, there's the cockerel shape. And some of these dark splashes can go in behind, in behind the leaves. There we are. I can make some of it a little bit more warmer, so burnt sienna is a little bit more dominant. And that goes in behind again, his windows and the leaves. Again, you can vary the strength of the tone by putting a bit more water in there so it's not quite so strong. You don't always have to have that darkness everywhere in those windows. And get a little bit more blue to complete this set of deep window shapes. There we go. You can see, can you see the chicken wire showing up? When you use masking fluid, you do need to be aware that the shapes of the masking fluid have got to show through your paint washes, otherwise they won't show when you try and wash them off or rub them off. That edge and the shadow under the doorway Again, this shadow shape is going to help the chicken because it helps with the backside of the bird and the neck. Can you see the way that that shows, shows up? And that could go trailing along there. Poor door, it's all broken up and aged and rotten. Right. Just get that top bit in and then we'll let it dry for a few minutes. Right, shall we let it rest and dry? Right, now we're going to tackle the foreground. So wash over with water and then put some burnt sienna and yellow ochre together to make a very warm, gentle colour, but just ideal for the foreground. And this links in the colour of the stonework to the foreground. So it gives a bit of unity to the work. There we go. Doesn't matter if it, it goes over the chicken. And then I'm going to put some darker colour, same colour, but with a little mixture of blue on it. And then just put some washes just breaking that up over the surface. And I'm going to splatter some stones into the wet surface so that they dissolve slightly and look like small stones and pebbles. There we go. And then perhaps a little bit up the wall There we are, and over here. And this is a mixture of blue and burnt sienna. With that same kind of colour, I can wash that with water and bring that colour over into the doorway because old wooden doorways that have kind of mellowed in the sun are a kind of grey and lovely tones of grey. So this is the same colour and I'm going to put perhaps a little bit of cerulean blue in there as well. A bit of cerulean blue. There we go. Very gentle. Wash this over and then I'm going to start my cockerel. Now cockerel has got, I'm going to put cadmium yellow bit of burnt sienna, 
that. So he's got a yellow chest, burnt sienna, and burnt sienna in blue for his dark tail. Not too dark, otherwise we're going to lose the whole of his shape into the background, aren't we? So water that down a bit and a nice bright coloured cadmium red comb. There we are. Why that's drying, I'm going to put a nice dark shadow in above the door frame. There we are. And I'm going to have a white hen here, so that's going to be cerulean blue. Now white can be quite colourful in a way, but we do need to keep some of the areas almost white but with the pastel shades. And that's going to have a tiny, tiny touch of violet in there. There we are. And again, cadmium red comb there. There. I'm going to put some weathering on this door while it's still wet and some lines of the planking. This is with blue and burnt sienna again. I'm going to have some streaks down the door and at the edge of the door here. But I think that's partly open that one but it's Still looking old and weathered. Using my tissue, I can dab that. Just softening things. And I've got a, some grass down here that I put that with masking fluid to start with. So I have to put a wash over, gently Put some water up to that so it softens and a bit of dark in there. there. Oh, I'm going to put a little bit more dark under the chicken so it shows up and a bit of shadow under the chicken. Then I'm going to put some blue over that because the warmth will show up through this glaze Put some more washes over the leaves and then we'll stop and let it dry. There we are. Just a few more squiggles through here. Right, let that dry for a moment. <coughs> 